While many of us are ready for winter to end, one man embraces the cold. A Coon Rapids High School graduate recently became the first to ever climb Mount McKinley, also known as Denali, alone in January. Lonnie Dupree hopes his trek inspires others to keep reaching higher. I just feel like every, we got all our stuff together and everything's, there isn't a single thing I'd wish for. There's going to be plenty of things I'll wish for when I get back. But growing up on a farm and growing up in Minnesota, summers are really hot for me. So I've always kind of disliked the summers for me. And I just uh, always uh, kind of gravitated towards uh, winter because I could always, you know, put enough clothes on and stay warm and that kind of stuff. And then I also, the, also the big thing for me is that a lot of the rivers, lakes, and ponds froze over. So it allowed me to travel further, um, uh, you know, travel a lot of the creeks and rivers and lakes, and um, um, and then it just really opened um, my um, grounds for exploration as a kid, and so I was intrigued with ice and snow, because you could pull a sled, and then, um, yeah, just decided, well, you know, it's pretty cold and snowy here in Minnesota, what, what's it like? you know, a couple thousand miles north. Lonnie Dupree's journey north took him from Hugo, Minnesota, to Coon Rapids where he grew up, then to Alaska as a commercial fisherman. Then his passion for exploration rose to new heights. Um, climbing kind of came late in my career. I was a polar explorer first. After topping Mount Rainier and Denali during the summer, Dupree set a steep goal for himself. Um, but then I went on to research that no one's ever done it. January solo in the winter, so I decided to use my expertise uh, that I've learned over the years uh, traveling in the Arctic and apply it to the mountain. He knew scaling more than 20,000 feet in temperatures that plummet to 60 degrees below zero Fahrenheit would be his biggest challenge yet. It's a, it's a mentally tough expedition because it's, uh, you're doing it by yourself, you're not roped in, you have to be very careful. No one's going to come rescue you if you fall into a crevice. Um, so it's, it's really a humongous commitment. But Dupree made that commitment and began his climb on December 18th. Uh, it was really super mental, mentally difficult and physically difficult. <laughs> it was equal. It was equally. I mean, there was days where you were pushing so hard that you mentally didn't know if you could keep doing it. And then there's other times where you're not doing much work, but you're mentally trying to get through five days of raging blizzard and darkness and, you know, being stationary and low on food and wondering if you ever see your friends and family again. He managed his fears. Uh, a certain amount of fear is a good thing because that keeps you alive, right? It always keeps you focused and uh, if things get, um, um, you know, a little bit nuts, um, it keeps you in check. But again, too much fear can stop you from doing things. Just the right amount of fear can keep you alive. So it's uh, it's, it's, it's different for everybody and you need to know where your thresholds are. But um, a lot of people have these fears that are unfounded. They just need to make those first steps to you know, build some confidence and, and, and move forward. And after battling winds blowing more than 100 miles an hour with only six hours of sunlight each day, Dupree finally reached Denali's peak. <laughs> well, I got to the top of the mountain after four tries, um, and each one of those past three, or, you know, uh, after my, on my fourth try, I made it, but uh, those past three tries, I mean, there was a lot of heartache uh, and lots of money and a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of nearly getting killed. Um, um, and then when you finally make it to the summit, you know, I actually broke down and I, when I got to the summit, just relieved that, all that, uh, all that, all those difficulties, you know, are behind me as long as I'm careful on the way down. After taking 10 minutes to enjoy the view, Lonnie spent three days climbing down. He returned to civilization with a story to tell and a message to send. Well, I like living out of the comfort zone a little bit because I get bored with uh, sometimes with just everyday life. So it's it's good to have these little um, nuggets to shoot for in life, and um, and um, 
it keeps um, it just keeps me going. And we try to always uh, attach a decent cause to the pro project. Like we we brought we were, we were trying to bring attention to climate change, what's going on there, but more so is just being able to raise a little bit of funds for um, the Nature Conservancy. I hope this inspires people to follow their dreams and not give up easily. You know, as soon as they run in the first, first, second, or third roadblock, that not to give up. If it's something you truly believe in, just uh, keep at it, and over time you'll 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 most likely achieve your goal. And and uh, do not wait. Uh, do not do not wait uh, for retirement, or don't wait for this or that. Uh, the best time to do those things is now. Dupree says he hopes to scale unclimbed mountains in the Himalayas of Nepal next.